Hi Jurassic Katie's Winnie here. Today we're going to draw the Chick-fil-A cow. So let's get started. To draw this cute cow from Chick-fil-A, let's first start by drawing its head. So I'm going to come right here and draw a curve for the top of its head. So it's a little bit narrower at the top. And from there, I'm going to start to bring it down and getting a little bit wider as we come down. So it's like my usual dumpling shape that I give to all my draws are cute characters, but it's just elongated. So let's keep bringing this down for the head. And about right here, I'm going to start to curve it in. About right there, start to curve it in. And from there, I'm going to connect it with a curve. all the way back there so that's the general shape that you want to start off with and to make it extra cute i'm just going to add some i made two strands of hair <laughs> right here on the top from there let's draw the snout of our cow so i'm going to come about right here and i'm just going to give myself a point right across so i know where to go on the other side and i'm just basically going to draw a curve all the way around. So this being my center will be about my highest point. Highest point by right here and then we can start to come down right back to the point you created. Then let's bring this uh, cute little cow to life and we're going to draw a circle right here for the eyes. So about right here. Draw a circle and another one. And since they're big enough, I'm going to make them draw so cute eyes. So now I have a Chick-fil-A cow, right? <laughs> and curves at the bottom, curve at the bottom and shade in the top. So it's two circles for highlights and a curve at the bottom. And lines at the bottom. And same thing over here. So make sure to please check out my uh, Draw So Cute Chick-fil-A logo if you are interested in drawing that as well as this cow. Okay, so the eyes in. I'm going to come to the top of each eye and draw a curve. So it's pretty high up, so about right here. And come to the bottom in this uh, snout area and we're going to draw two ovals. And um, I'll just shade it in. So same thing on the other side. So about right here. Okay. And then now um, the ear so we can make it look like our cow, right? So about this area right here in the top, I'm just going to come down with a curve, round off the tip, and come right back in there and then let's come in here for some details i'm just going to draw this curve coming on both top and bottom so same exact thing on the other side i'm just going to drag two points across uh, approximate right there so then i'll come down just like the other side so about right there round off the tip then bring it right back up and then let's come and draw the same thing. So two curves. There. And then let's draw a little patch right here for our cow. And I'm going to shade that in so you can see a little bit better. And don't worry about the ears being exactly the same. You can have one a little bit more floppy. It really doesn't matter. I think it just adds to the cuteness of the cow. As long as they're approximately the same size, that's your goal. From there, let's draw the sign that uh, this cow is holding and the body. So if you're using a pencil, um, start right here and draw a line right across for the sign. But since I'm using a sharpie and I can't erase, I'm gonna start off with the rope first. So I'm going to come right here and just draw a curve tentatively. And I'm going to thicken that curve 
for the rope. So I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. But like I said, if you're using a pencil, draw the sign first. So I'm just giving myself an approximate area where the rope is going to end. So I have that in. Then I'm going to come into this area, but right here, and draw a straight line through. Right there, all the way through, just like the other side. From there, we're going to come down and create kind of this rectangle shape. Okay, so then in this area, um, we're going to draw the rope. So we're going to draw a knot. So come in here with a curve and then curve it. In. And then right here, we're just going to draw a piece of rope that's out. And you can just bring in the curve. Just a simplified way of drawing the knot. So same thing over here. So just a circle. Oops, and I forgot to draw the rope. <laughs> okay, so draw the piece dangling out first. Just like I did on the other side. Sorry, forgot about that. So I'm going to come in there and erase that right there. There. Okay, so I'm just going to come in here and make it look like a rope. So I'm just going to add these curves right here to give it some detail. And same thing over here. Oh, and I muddled. Oops, I didn't see that I... Oh, actually, I didn't need to. It could have just been a, a curve. <laughs> okay, that worked out. All right, so then from there, before I forget, I'm going to come to the back right here and draw another straight line and then bring a line across. So this is the back of the sign. Uh, make sure I'm pretty straight as possible. And come straight down. Okay, so then from there, if you're using a pencil, once again, just go ahead and finish your rectangle and uh, for the sign. But since I'm using a Sharpie, once again, I'm going to come about in this area and draw the arms. So right here, I'm just going to bring this in with a curve. And I'm going to come out right here and thicken that curve for a very simplified arm for our cow. So then come in here. And we're going to create these two angles for the hoof and a curve right here. So same thing over here. So we're going to come right in here. And I'm just going to give myself a point, just approximate. Same thing on the other side. So once again, about right here and thicken your arm. And you can come in here and give it a little patch if you like. Okay, so then I'm going to continue this through. So about right here. And I'm going to bring it all the way down. So same thing over here. And look at my camera, make sure I'm going as straight as possible. <laughs> okay, so let's bring this down a little bit more. About right there, I'll stop. Okay, and then from there, I'm going to go ahead and connect it. There, finally have the sign in. Um, and then now for the um, legs. So we're going to center the legs so about right here and here. I'm going to start off with a slight curve that comes down right in the center. And on this side, it's going to be curving the other way. So it's kind of flared out. And then right in here, curve it a little bit, come in with a little angle and connect. And then right here, a curve. 
So same thing over here. Curve down, curve, connect, go up, down, and connect, and same thing. So once again, you can come in here and give it some the pattern. So then, um, oh, the tail, <laughs> I almost forgot. So right in this area, I'm just gonna add a little tail. So this is creating a little curve and then right here, the hair part. So it's just kind of like drawing a paintbrush. Okay, so then we are pretty much done with this cow. And then now to write, um, the words on the sign and I'm gonna write eat more chicken and I'm trying to follow the um, Chick-fil-A uh, font as much as possible. So eat more chicken. Here we go. <laughs> so let's see about right here. And I'm just gonna do this as fast as I can because it doesn't really matter. This is a really fun little drawing. I hope that will inspire you to uh, draw it as well. down a little bit more, eat, and then Okay, so then I'm just gonna come in here and really quickly thicken everything up. So there, hope you love how this Chick-fil-A cow turned out and it really inspires you to draw it too. Thanks so much for watching and if you loved it, please make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and turn on your notification bell so you won't miss any new Drawstick Kit videos. See you later.